Guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. Apple released iOS 26 beta to all developers today. Came in about 1.5 gigabytes. The build number 23A5276F. And there are a couple of changes in this beta today. So let's get started. In Control Center, there's a new updated look. It went from the semi-transparent look to more of a blurred look. Spotlight search, the search bar is now more of a lighter look instead of a darker look. I'm taking a screenshot. If you click the check mark, the copy and delete button now displays properly. The settings icon has now been updated. As you can see on beta two, it's a lighter, bigger icon now. On beta 1, it was a smaller, darker icon. Maps app, the button for changing which map you're using, like satellite, standard, and driving, now shows a paper map icon instead of the shortcuts icon. In reminders, the search, list, and edit icons have now been changed. The weather app, the scrubber bar, has now been made smaller in an oval shape. On beta 1, it was a wide oval shape as glitched. In accessibility, if you click on voiceover, hover text, or display text size, there is a new What's New button. Then you can learn how it works. Any application where there are buttons to select, moving between them, the liquid glass icon animation just feels a lot smoother on beta 2. On beta 1, it was just a little slow and choppy. On beta 2, a whole lot smoother now. The clock app, we go to alarms. If you have no alarms, previously on iOS 6 beta 1, the edit button will always be there even if you have no alarms. On beta 2, the edit button has now been removed. It will now only appear if you have an alarm. Alright, so those are all the changes that I could find in this beta today. That was pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, give the video a thumbs up. It's my video. Peace out.